You know what? No intro. Let's talk about what Nikkei Dunn did. All right. So if you don't know, Nikkei has been on a bit of a positivity streak these last several months, not only from a community standpoint, but financially as well. Month after month, Nikkei has been topping the charts right up there next to Genshin Impact and probably right up there next to Honkai Star Rail as well. You're, you're talking about some real good company. Nikkei not only has been printing money, but it's been doing it the right way as well. Players have been happy. You know, all of the Nikkei have been as lewd as they want to be the last event overzone was extremely well received like nikkei has been firing in all cylinders um you got quality of life coming streamlining coming uh constant developer notes like dude everything has been going great with nikkei but of course what does a gotcha company do when everything is going great and they're making all of the money they think to themselves you know what with all this goodwill build up Let's see if we can push that line a little bit. Let's see if we can cross the line just a tad. D to put it in RPG terms, it's like Nikkei has been defeating enemies on normal, so easy, so breezy, just destroying everything. And they're like, you know what? Let's crank the difficulty to extra hard just to see how hard the boss hits me. Let me let me just see. Let me stick my foot in the lava a little bit. See how hot it is. And that is what this costume gotcha is. Now, at first glance, a costume gotcha is nothing new. We've seen this in other games. Basically, you spend in-game currency in other games. You spend in-game currency in other games <laughs> for a grand prize of a skin. While you're trying to get that grand prize, there's lots of upgrade material resources things of that nature for the most part a costume gotcha is not egregious at all so of course Nikkei was like you know what how can we take that proven formula and scum it up a little bit you know what I'm saying it's been a long time since costume gate maybe we need a sequel <laughs> all right and that's what Nikkei did so Nikkei put a costume gotcha in their game where free to play are completely removed from the equation you cannot use in-game gems you have to buy costume tickets with real cash so free to play you out you get one little cute little pull and that's it but we'll talk about that cute little pull here in a second because I know some of you guys out there play Tower of Fantasy and Tower of Fantasy has something very similar to this. They have like a paid gotcha shop, but free to play players get a pool. And if you're real lucky, an astronomical small amount of players out there will get lucky, use their free pool and get the grand prize. So again, Nikkei looked at that situation that Tower of Fantasy had going from their house built with a hundred dollar bills, their whole house built with hundred dollar bills, the floors, the ceilings, all the furniture. I, I don't know how it's possible, but they did it, all right? They built a whole house with $100 bills, right? They're looking at Tower of Fantasy like, you know what? I feel like we can add another level of scumminess to that equation, right? So even if you're a free-to-play player, you log in an EK, you use your free pool, you cannot get the grand prize because check this out. The grand prize is not possible until you draw at least five times. So not only can free to play not pull using gems, they can't even get really, really lucky. Like, 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 think about this. I hate that I'm about to give this type of advice to a gotcha company, but, but listen to me here for a second. Gotcha game players, all we want is a chance, right? It doesn't matter how small that chance is. If you give a gotcha player, a free to play player, a dolphin or whatever, you give us a 0.02% percent chance do we'll take that chance with a smile on our face but if you give us no chance that's when you get the drama that's when you get the uproar that's where you just evaporate all of your goodwill that's where it's a problem right so not only can free to play not roll in this banner with gems not only can free to play not get the grand prize with the free pool that everyone gets it also screws over light spenders as well so if you're like you know what maybe i'll just drop like four bucks maybe i'll get lucky you won't get lucky because the skin is not in the gotcha until the fifth pull. <laughs> All right, are, are you hearing this? <laughs> the skin is not in the gotcha into the fifth pool. I don't think I have ever seen this before in my history of gotcha them. The, go the skin is not even in the gotcha until the fifth pull. <laughs> it's, it's like Nikkei, Tencent, Shift Up. They're like, yo, we need a pity for ourselves. We need a reverse pity, <laughs> right? We need a reverse pity to ensure that players do not get the grand prize until at least they give us five pulls worth. We can't possibly afford to let this small astronomical amount of players somehow get lucky and get the skin within one to four pulls. We can't allow it. We gotta have a guaranteed reverse pity. 
<laughs> what? I'm losing my voice. Absolutely silly. I don't know why they did this. They've been, like I said, they've been on such a good positivity streak. What a way to evaporate it in a second. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for this. Free to play players, this is what you're going to get. I like it. I'll take it. But at the end of the day, who cares if I was that one player out of like 30,000 that got lucky and got the skin, right? Free to play players are free to play players, right? They weren't going to spend anyway because they're free to play. Who cares that you gave them one skin? It doesn't hurt your bottom line at all. In fact, it's actually a positivity boost as people go to Reddit and Twitter and they say, yo, hey, dude, I got lucky. I got this skin in EK. I got it free. How great. And other people will come. Some will be free to play. Some people will spend money. Net, net, it would have been a win. This is a complete loss, <laughs> right? I don't care how much money you make on it. There are certain things that you just lost here that it's going to be real hard to get back. Bruh. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe it. Wow. Also, I can't believe this skin. Look at Blanc. Looking pretty good. <laughs> All right, let's, let's do some summons here. I want to go ahead and get a copy of this little bunny waifu here. And I got to get her, uh, her compadre as well. That'd be pretty nice. Let's see if we can get real lucky. I just want one for collection purposes. We're just gonna go rapid fire here. Blow through this as fast as we, no hezzy skips, none of that. <laughs> Nikkei don't deserve any type of positive skippy actions. You know what I'm saying? None of that. I tell you what, can this just be it? Can it just be it? Is, he, is she Tetra? She might be Tetra. There she is, a bunny, ooh. <laughs> She made me forget what I was talking about for a second. <laughs> what is this video about? I forgot. <laughs> there she is, looking real good. So let's go into our Nikkei's real quick. The power of these waifus is really dependent on them being together. So, Ni oh my God. <laughs> there is Noir right over there. Bunny waifu representing. And dude, this really just breaks my heart because Nikkei has just kind of entered. Oh my God, <laughs> Nikkei has kind of just entered their uh, Destiny Child phase of life. Like when Destiny Child first came out, it was nowhere near as risque as it is now. It, it gradually built up to that. And we can kind of see Nikkei doing the same thing. Like, look at that. There's runs in her stock. This is a high quality skin. Like, don't get it twisted. It's a really good skin. I, I think they just could have just did this so much better. And I, I think the reputation hit was not worth it. <laughs> dude, what a good skin though. I can't front. <laughs> I, I can't front. A lot of copium, FG. Dude, chill. And there is our girl here. Wow. <laughs> this, this is Nikkei, goddess of victory. Uh, I, they might backpedal on this. They might, you know, come out and make a, a change here or something like that. I, I don't know what they're going to do. Um, but I got to tell you, this was a bad look. And I hope this doesn't set a precedence going forward. Because, dude, it, it's like, it's a multi-screwage. It, it's a complete multi-screwage, right? You can't use gems. This would be a good way, once again, I can't believe I'm giving advice for gotchas. This is a good way to drain gems out of the economy. That way, when... Uh, I don't know, a near collaboration comes around, people don't have any gems and they have to kind of top up. Once again, why am I giving advice for this kind of stuff, <laughs> right? You could have absolutely used this as a kind of a gem drain, right? Or you could have took this little caveat of being required to do five draws before you can get the grand prize out. Nikkei tripped over everything that was possible to trip over. Like, it was like, <laughs> dude, it was like a sunny day in a clear highway, no cars, no traffic, right. the visibility was perfect and the only thing that was on the road was a banana and a pothole but you could see it a mile away right and Nikkei still found a way to trip over both of them so that is gonna do it for me man what a shame for Blanc what an awesome character with a fantastic kit and her release was you know a little a little tainted her release was a little tainted with this whole rupee thing dude she's man <laughs> and she, she's pr with her sister dude she's like she might be the new meta she just might be and like I said, it's kind of a shame that she came in this patch. But there you go. Once again, my name is FG3000, and I will see you guys in the next video. Wham, wow, man.